Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. Today we're actually going to be going over my tractor. Uh, with my new house, I have 10 acres. We do some light farming. We have a lot of work to keep up around the house. So I decided it was time to get a tractor, which I got uh, approximately a year ago. This is the Coyote or Coyote. Uh, CS2210. It's a three-cylinder diesel engine. It cranks out 22 horsepower. Then you have a CS25, which is a 25 horsepower. It's just a chip in the engine. Um, this particular uh, model has uh, uh, it's right around a 48 inch bucket with a 700 pound capacity. I do have a 60 inch mowing deck that goes on this. Right now it's winter time. I'm not mowing so I take it off and I use the tractor to plow. Um, it is a hydrostatic tractor. Uh, it has a three point hitch on the back of it. It's a, it's a fantastic tractor. It's something that is affordable for me as well. When I look at Kubotas, this is basically the same thing as a Kubota, but Kubotas were at least five to seven thousand dollars more for the same exact specifications within this. So this was my compromise. So let's just take a quick walk around it. I'm going to tell you about how I plow with it, and I think that's the main point of today's video is to go over how you actually plow with a tractor. It seems easy in theory but it's not as easy as what it may seem. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hey, take a trip down below the video and hit that subscribe button for all the latest and greatest updates. I got a lot of good videos coming up and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. All right, so let's take a quick look at the bucket. Most people would think, hey, you just lay down the bucket, you scrape up the snow, you're good to go. No, 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 not so much. I have hard packed down, I have gravel, I have other things. When you use a bucket, especially with a steel blade, it's going to just tear holes into the ground. That's what these are meant to do, haul things. Uh, and uh, so what you can do is you can actually get these steel gliders and uh, they just bolt onto your bucket. It's clamped on so you can take them on and off as, uh, as you need. You can tilt the bucket. You can see they actually go down and around. So it's very forgiving for the ground. So you, have, you leave about an inch behind with this, but you can plow and you can pick up big uh, snow banks. So you're not taking off your bucket to put a plow on. You still retain the advantages of a bucket to move giant piles of snow. I live in New England, northern New England, and today it was single digits, you know, I would say nine degrees. We got only a couple of inches of snow, but sub-zero temperatures starting tomorrow. And if I just leave that little amount of snow on the ground, it's gonna freeze and it's gonna cause havoc. It's gonna be a treacher to work on. So something to always think about, if it's just a little bit, you still have to maintain your travel paths. And this helps tremendously in doing that. But this isn't the only thing that I use with the bucket. I do have a snow blade. Let's take a look at that right now. All right, so mounted to the back of the tractor, I have a three-point hitch receiver to which I can pull with this D-ring. I can set hitches in here um, or I can put attachments in, kind of like what you would with a typical pickup truck. And with that, it really does it attaches to the three-point hitch in the back. Um, I do have a PTO in the back. I have a mid-PTO as well, which I can take advantage of, like I said, for the mowing deck. But let's take a look at this. This is a snow plow blade. You can also use it for dirt and other things if you want, but it's specifically for snow for one big reason. It rotates. So I can reverse and plow and push wherever I need to, um, you know, the snow, if I can't pull it. So I have the option, it's really, really nice to be able to do that. It has a set pin, and there's multiple settings on top, but if you just wanna throw it to the side here, you know, either side that you want to, you can lock it in place. Right now, I usually just push it to my right side, so I can push it to the right side of the road and continue to go, or like you're gonna see in the video, 
um, I usually push it to a centralized point if I have an open area and then I take the bucket and I just scoop up the pile and I'll go move it to a place where it doesn't really make a difference and it's not in any of our travel paths. Uh, this is an extremely, extremely useful tool, and I got it from, it's called Heavy Hitch. You can find them online. I'll put a link down in the description. It is made in the United States. They make these in multiple different colors. I chose orange because it matches the tractor, and who doesn't want to match their tractor? I didn't wear this coat to match my tractor. It's just a coincidence, a very cool coincidence, I will say that. Uh, so basically, uh, for this tractor, I can use this for pretty much anything that I need on my property farm. You know, we, we have a lot of plans for the property. I pull trees with it. I, you know, whenever I do any type of um, arborist work, landscaping, uh, anything like that, having a tractor is probably your most important tool that you can have if you have land. You know, four wheelers. ATVs, things like that, they're just, they're not going to provide what you need. With this tractor, it weighs uh, 2,000 pounds uh, raw. It has four wheel drive and the tires are weighted as well. So that brings it up to, you know, probably right around 2,500 pounds raw. And you add in the mowing deck and accessory, you're over 3,000 pounds. So you do have enough you know, power and weight to do some serious work, even with the small tractor. This is the smallest tractor that they make, and uh, it's great. So, so this has been the video, just a quick video, an overview of the tractor and some of its amenities that I'm using it for, at least in the winter time. Uh, if you are a person that owns land and you've just invested in kind of the toy market um, or, you know, something you go hunting and you need an ATV in order to get out there, but you have troubles managing your land in terms of hauling things, getting things around, I would seriously consider buying a tractor. It's a very utilitarian thing to have. It allows you to do a lot of stuff uh, a lot easier. So, uh, you know, what is your payback? It's really going to be in time. That's your payback for these. Uh, getting work done, digging trenches, moving dirt, getting things together, you know, it's, it's all worth it to me. So anyways, I'll post links in the description of some of the accessories that I have for this. I don't have many for it. Uh, I only buy them as needed. But So I hope that you all liked this video and you got something out of it. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Stay warm.